In this video, we're going to take apart uh, FD-135 2.5 uh, lens. Um, one thing different about this lens is you have to remove this lens group uh, before you can actually physically remove the mount. And to do that, you're going to need one of these. This is a, a lens spanner wrench and you use these tips to get in there and to unscrew that lens group. Along with that, you're going to need a good screwdriver. If your screws are tight, you want to be able to push down hard and break those loose. Um, sometimes they are a little stiff given the age of these uh, lenses. With that, let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this lens group out. and uh, This one's pre-adjusted, but what you want to make sure is that those ends are as far out as possible. And not touching the lens element. So, uh, let's get a good grip on it. And turn counterclockwise. Now I have a little gadget that I use for doing this, which is right here. It's a little rubber plunger. There you go. So we set that aside and now we can take apart this lens. There's three screws around the perimeter that we're going to need to remove. One here, here, and here. So here I'm using a um, it's a Japanese standard JIS zero little tight. Just kind of work it out of there. there we go. Typically this end is the part that's going to give you a hang up. Set it aside. Next, to actually start the conversion, we're going to remove these two screws um, and then uh, replace the aperture control arm um, with the conversion arm. And one thing I noticed in doing this is, uh, and this is sometimes a problem, is this cam has gone past the point and down on this straight edge. Um, so the, it won't go back into position. That's an easy remedy. Just take this. Push it up, slide it back over. There you go. Um, so let's remove this. You're going to need a straight slot in most cases. That. Now your lens is ready for conversion. Uh, so here's the aperture control replacement.
So the next thing is we can actually now put this in ahead of time. So we don't have the same mechanisms in place to hinder <coughs> removing or installing the plate. This will get a better view of doing this. I want to tighten it, but just snug, don't have to over torque it. And the same true with these two screws, no need to over torque them, they just need to be really snug. Uh, um, always make sure that uh, this is facing towards you. This location for an optional AF chip is away from you. And uh, line that up. Uh, install the three screws provided. Make sure those are good and snug. I always like to tighten them a little bit each time going around. That's all there is to it. Aperture works. Zoom it out. Still got a good control.